Hello students. So we were doing arithmetic progression. Exercise number 5.2. In the last video, if you see, हम लोगों ने क्वेश्चन नंबर तीन तक कर लिया था नाउ वी विल प्रोसीड विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सो क्वेश्चन इज विच टर्म ऑफ एपी थ्री एट थर्टीन एंड एटीन इज सेवेंटी एट सो सोल्यूशन वी नो टी एन इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी हियर हियर वी विल सी ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री and d is equal to difference of any of these two 8 minus 3 is 5 13 minus 8 is 5 18 minus 13 is 5 that is 8 minus 3 that is equal to 5 that is common difference is given then uh, tn is given that is 78 so as i have told you you have any uh, ap and or in question if you have to use this formula, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, uh, I mean parameters are there. The 3 will be given, 4th we will have to find. So 1, 2, 3 is given, 4th we can find from this equation. Therefore, Pn is equal to 78, A is 3 plus N we have to find is 5. Therefore, we can simplify 78 minus 3 is equal to 5n minus 5 therefore this is 75 is equal to 5n minus 5 therefore 5n is equal to 75 plus 5 that is 80 therefore n is equal to 80 by 5 16 times that is 16 therefore n is equal to 16 so in this AP, 16 term will be 78. Okay, we will go for the next problem. Question number 5. Find the numbers of terms in each of the following AP. Two APs are given. So since two parts are there, out of these two, one part, the second one, it is in fraction. So I will take the second part, first part as the homework. So solution, I will take the second part. That is AP is given. AP 15 1 by 2 13 and nth term is minus 47. Means here we have to find common difference. D. It is AP. So successive terms are this. So we will find D is equal to 15 1 by 2 minus 18. That is equal to 30 31 by 2 minus 18. LCM of these two is 2, so 31 minus 36 by 2, that is minus 5 by 2. So, D is equal to minus 5 by 2, we could get. And uh, here TN is given, that is minus 47. And number of terms is required, and first term A is equal to A. So A is known, D is known and Pn is known. So we can use this formula and we can find the value of N. Now Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. So Tn is therefore minus 47 that is A is 18 plus N minus 1 and D is minus 5 by 2. We can solve this. So we can write therefore minus 47 is equal to 18 minus 5 by 2 n plus 5 by 2 right so therefore minus 47 is equal to 18 to the 36 5 41 by 2 minus 5 by 2 you can further simplify Transfer this on this side, therefore 5 by 2 n is equal to 41 by 2 plus 47. Therefore, 5 by 2 n is equal to 41 plus, it is 94 by 2, 
right? Therefore, five by two n is equal to five one thirty five by two. So two and two will go. Therefore, n is equal to one thirty five by five. That is twenty seven. Therefore, n is equal to twenty seven. Means twenty seventh term will be minus forty seven, and this is the answer. And this part. Because there are the numbers in a similar fashion, you will go and you will get the answer of it, right? So, question number six: Check whether minus one fifty is a term of AP this or not. In this AP, given that is eleven, a five, two, and so on. So here we will find the common difference that is needed. So d is equal to eight minus eleven. Eight my next term minus previous one. Five minus eight. Two minus five. These are the common difference of AP. That is minus three. So common difference is minus three. We got a is equal to eleven, and uh, t n is given. That is minus one fifty. T n we have assumed. Okay, the nth term is there. So, if we are getting n as a whole number, a natural number, right? Then only we will say that this term is in AP, because term will be one, two, three, four, like that only. It cannot be in fraction. If it is coming in fraction, even if it it is cannot be negative also, right? Only we should get whole number. If n is coming as whole number, then only I will say it is the uh, term in this AP. Therefore, now p n is equal to a plus n minus one d. This is the formula. P n is given uh, <coughs> minus one fifty is equal to a is eleven plus n minus one and d is minus three. Therefore, we will take whole quantity on this side. So. N minus one into three is equal to eleven plus one fifty. Minus one fifty is taken on this side. I, this is minus n minus one into three. Into three. Since it is negative, I have taken it became positive. So n minus one into three, eleven plus one fifty. That is equal to how much it is? One sixty one. Isn't it? Therefore, n minus one. Is equal to one sixty one by three. If we divide one sixty one by three, okay. Anyway, so n minus one is equal to one sixty one by three plus one. That is equal to one sixty one plus three upon three. That is equal to one sixty four by three. That is. This n is equal to because one I have taken on this side. Therefore, n is equal to this. That is therefore n is equal to fifty four two by three. This is not possible because n cannot be in fraction as I told in the beginning. N cannot be in uh, fraction since t n we have assumed this as a whole uh, n. Is whole number. Assuming that t n is the part of it, the n should be whole number. N is not the whole number. It means t n is not the part of the, this a p. Therefore, therefore, t n is equal to one fifty is not a term of given a p. Right. So this way, we have assumed t n is the part of it. Here is the term of this AP, and then we solve. Then we are not getting n is the whole number. It means this is not. It is a method by contradiction, right? N is not the whole number. Therefore, it cannot be the term of this AP. Okay. Now we will take seventh question. Find thirty-first term of an AP whose eleventh term is thirty-eight and sixteenth term is seventy-three. Solution. AP is not known. So let 
first term of AP is equal to A and uh, common difference common difference is D right so we will use the formula Pn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D where N is a number of terms so Tn for 11th term Tn is 38 therefore 38 is equal to A plus which term 11th term 11 minus 1 into D because this is the common difference A is the first term so this implies therefore we can write 38 is equal to A plus 10 D let this equation number 1 similarly with this condition also we will find one equation now and it is 73 the 16th term 73 in tn only we will put in this formula only tn is 73 a plus 16th term 16 minus 1 d therefore 73 is equal to a plus 15 d it is equation number 2 two equations we got with these two equations we will find a and d then we will find 31st term how to find from 1 and 2 we can solve this by the simultaneous method also and simply we will subtract this from this or this from this either way we can solve by right? simultaneous uh, equation we solve by writing one equation below that the another equation then we add subtract that way we do or linearly also we can uh, add and subtract these two equations so we can write from 1 and 2 what I have done I from 1 and 2 this and this I will subtract 1 from 2 right so subtracting subtracting 1 from 2 so left hand side I will subtract that is 73 minus 38 similarly right hand side will also be subtracted so a plus 15d minus a plus 10d so this would if i subtract this 73 minus 38 then we will get 5 and 3 35 on right hand side simplify this a plus 15d minus a minus 10d a and a will go therefore 35 is equal to 5d therefore d is equal to 35 by 5 that is 7 so therefore d is equal to 7 so what did we get d is equal to 7 we got and d can be put in any of these equations and we can find a now substituting d is equal to 7 in equation 1 we will get 38 is equal to a plus 10 into 7 therefore 38 is equal to a plus 70 therefore a is equal to 70 minus 70 plus 38 so how much will it come it will be 32 minus so a is minus 32 a is known, D is known, and uh, N is known, then we can find TN. Therefore, T, how much? 31st, 31, that is equal to my, minus 32, that is A plus N is 31 minus 1 into D is 7. So, minus 32 plus 30 into 7 that is minus 32 plus 210 therefore t 31 is equal to 210 minus 32 178 right 178 plus 32 is equal to 110 so tn is t 31 is 178 this is the answer of this question question number 8 
solution. What is given? An AP consists of 50 terms of which third term is 12 and the last term is 106. Find 29th term. Last term is nth term. So in this uh, Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. So A is the first term. D is the common difference. N is 50. The Tn is equal to 106. So therefore 106 is equal to A plus 50 minus 1 into D. Got it? What is given? The last term is 106. Number of terms is 50. This Tn is equal to 106. So we got this equation. 106 is A plus N minus 1D. This can be simplified further. So 106 is equal to A plus 49D. Take this equation as 1. Second equation, third term is 12. So again, Tn, this formula only we will use. Therefore, T, what will be T3? Right? T3 is A plus 3 minus 1D. And this T3 is how much? 12. Therefore, 12 is equal to A plus 3 minus 1, that is 2D. This is equation number 2. And from these two equations, again, similar method we will follow. Subtracting uh, second from first. Subtracting equation 2 from 1. So left hand side you will subtract. That is 106 minus 12, that is equal to A plus 49D, right hand side, minus A plus 2D, right? Left hand side I have subtracted, 106 minus 12, right hand side means this minus this idea. So 106 minus 12, 94, right? That is equal to A plus 49D minus A minus 2D. So A and A will go. Therefore, 94 is equal to how much? 47D. And from this equation we will get, therefore, D is equal to 94 upon 47. So it will go 2 times, that is equal to 2. Therefore, D is equal to A. D is known. And any of these equations if you put, we will get the value of A, isn't it? So, from 2, that is 12 is equal to A plus 2D. Put the value D is equal to 2 over there. Therefore, 12 is equal to A plus 2 into 2. Therefore, 12 is equal to A plus 4. Therefore, A is equal to 12 minus 4, that is A. Therefore, A is equal to so two things were required A and D both we got then we will find 29th term right therefore T29 is equal to A plus 29 minus 1 D therefore T29 is equal to what is A A is 8 plus that is 28 into D is 2 that is 8 plus, that is 56, and this is 64. So T29, that is equal to 64, and this is the answer. So see the steps, how are we going? Questions are given in twisted form, slightly twisted. But finally, if you work on it, you will see that the equation form is going Conclusion the function. So number nine. Step by step, we will understand the problem and then we will proceed. What is given? If third term and ninth term of an AP are four and minus eight respectively. Four and minus eight respectively means respectively means four is third term, minus eight is ninth term, right? So, we will see, if n is equal to 3, then Tn is equal to 4, right, first part, then n is
is equal to 9, then Tn means here we in place of Tn I will write T3. I have T9 is equal to minus 8. So n is given, Tn is given. So first suppose first term is A and common difference is D. Let first term is equal to A and common difference is equal to D. So we can write equation for this as well as for this. So therefore T3 is equal to A plus 3 minus 1 D. T3 is known. So we can write T3 is 4. Therefore 4 is equal to A plus 2D. This is equation number 1. Similarly, we will go for this also. So, and T9 is equal to A plus 9 minus 1D. Right? And T9 is minus 8. Therefore, minus 8 is equal to 8 plus, that is 8D. That is equation number 2. Same process we will do. We will find the value of A and D. So subtract this from this or this from this. Either way. So we will subtract. Subtract 1 from 2. So from 2 means first this and then this. So left hand side we will look at. Minus 8 minus 4 is equal to right hand side. 8 a plus 8D minus A plus 2D. Further we can say minus 4 minus 8 is equal to minus 12 is equal to A plus 8D minus A minus 2D. A and A will go. Therefore minus 12 is equal to how much? 8D minus 2D that is 6D. Therefore D is equal to minus 12 by 6, that is equal to minus 2. Therefore, we will write T is equal to minus 2. Now, one important thing I would like to tell you. If you see, I write everything stepwise, systematically, randomly. With, I can uh, skip 2-3 steps. But any exam you are supposed to solve stepwise, that is why everything I am writing very much systematically, stepwise and you should develop this habit of writing systematically. Aapko systematically ki adat lag gai, to it is a good thing. Ne? It will be beneficial for you in the exam also. So D is known. <coughs> Put this value any of these equations and find the value of A. We can write substituting. D is equal to minus 2 in equation 1. In this we will put. D is equal to minus 2. Therefore, 4 is equal to A plus 2D. 4 is equal to A plus 2 into minus 2. Therefore, 4 is equal to A minus 4. Therefore, A is equal to 8. <coughs> Transfer minus 4 on this side. That is 4 plus 4, that is 8. A is known, D is known, and which term? Which term will be 0? Right? And the term will be 0. Right? Now, Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1D. Because this I have been using for all these equations. So here Tn is 0. We have to find N. Which term is 0? Means value of n is required for which tn is 0. Got it? What term chahiye jiske liye number of term chahiye jiske liye tn 0 hai. nth term is 0. So 0 I have written a is 8 plus n minus 1 into d is minus 2. From this we will find the value of n. So we will transfer this. This can be written as 0 is equal to 8 minus n minus 1 into 2. Pura quantity left hand side mein le lenge hum. To kya likhenge? Therefore, 2 n minus 1 that is equal to 8. Therefore, 
n minus 1 is equal to 8 upon 2 that is equal to 4 therefore n is equal to 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5 the answer will be n is equal to 5 fifth term जो रहेगा उस AP का यहाँ पर ये conditions दिए हुए हैं उसमें fifth term will be 0 right so this way we have taken 9 problem also question number 10 it is very good problem the 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term by 7. Find the common difference. How will we proceed? Kya diya hai? Ki 17th term jo hai, wo 10th term ka jo value hai, usse 7 jada hai. Right? So, we will assume, let 10th term is equal to x. 10th term को x assume कर लिया. तो 17th term जो है, 10th term से 7 जादा है. Therefore, 17th term will be equal to x plus 7. ठीक है? As per condition. कि 10th term जो है, value और 17th term जो value है, उसका value 10th term का जो value उससे 7 जादा है. तो हमने 10th term assume कर लिया x, तो 17th term क्या हो जाएगा? 7 ज़्यादा हो जाएगा इससे, that is x plus 7 हो जाएगा. Now, let first term is equal to, is equal to a, and the common difference is equal to d. First term is this, common difference is this, then we will use the formula, pn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. For both, tenth term is x. So we will write x is equal to a plus ten minus one d. Can we write? Because I have assumed tenth term is x. Therefore, x is equal to a plus nine d. Equation number one. Similarly, we will go for this. T 17 is equal to a plus 17 minus 1d. Okay. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. T17. T17 is x plus 7. Therefore, x plus 7 is equal to a plus 16d. Question number 2. Now, we will subtract 1 from 2. Same procedure. We will write subtracting. Subtracting equation 1 from 2. Left hand side we will subtract. That is x plus 7 minus x is equal to right hand side. That is a plus 16d minus a plus 9d. So if you subtract this x and x will go, therefore 7 is equal to a plus 16d minus a minus 9d, a and a will go, therefore 7 is equal to 16 minus 9, that is 7d, therefore d is equal to 7 by 7, that is 1, answer is d is equal to 1. Finally we got common difference d is equal to 1. Concept once the statement, word problem is this, if the statement is converted into mathematical form, then solution becomes easy, means concept lies up to forming these two equations, if these two equations are formed, the rest of the things are easy, there is no problem, so this way I have solved the question up to 10th, remaining problems I will take, take up and next video will be with the remaining problem, so we will meet next time very soon, till then, all the best, be happy, be healthy.